In this lesson, I'll show you how to rotate and graph an equation using the rotation of axes formula. The question reads, write the equation x times y is equal to 2 in terms of a rotated x prime y prime system if the angle of rotation from the x axis to the x prime axis is 45 degrees. Express the equation in standard form and use the rotated system to graph x y is equal to 2. The first thing that I'll do is set x equal to the following expression and y is equal to the following expression where theta is equal to 45 degrees. So let's go ahead and write that out. We have x is equal to x prime cosine 45 degrees minus y prime sine of 45 degrees. And you can use special triangles to evaluate that or your calculator. y is equal to x prime sine 45 degrees plus y prime cosine 45 degrees. Now I know that sine 45 and cosine 45 degrees is equal to the square root of 2 over 2, but of course you can confirm that with your calculator or using special triangles. That being said, all of these factors will be replaced with the square root of 2 over 2. In addition, this x and this y will be replaced with these two expressions. So let's go ahead and do that. We have x prime times the square root of 2 over 2. I'm filling in everything for x, and I'll put this in brackets. Minus y prime, square root of 2 over 2. Close bracket, and now we do the y. x prime, square root of 2 over 2, plus y prime, square root 2 over 2. And that is equal to 2. Now our goal is to write this in standard form. So as you can see in this parentheses, we have the square root of 2 over 2 that is common factorable. So I'll pull that out, leaving us with x prime minus y prime. And over here, I'll do the same thing, where I have the square root of 2 over 2, x prime plus y prime is equal to 2. And if I group together this factor and this factor, I'll end up with the square root of 2 times the square root of 2, that's equal to 2 over 4. 2 times 2 is 4. And this factor and this factor, if you take a close look at them, that is a difference of squares. Think about it this way. If we had x prime squared minus y prime squared, this expression is a difference of squares. And if you factor it via difference of squares, you should end up with these two factors. All of this is equal to 2. Now, let's continue. We have 2 over 4. That's the same thing as saying 1 over 2. And if I multiply both sides by 2 at this point, I'll end up with x prime squared minus y prime squared is equal to 4. And I want to make the right side of this equation equal to 1, so I'll divide everything by 4. This will make that a 1 and we'll have a 4 underneath this x and a 4 underneath this y. Now as you can tell, this equation is a hyperbola. And the reason why I can tell is because you have two terms that are separated by a minus. And specifically, this type of parabola is one that opens horizontally. So you'll have something that looks like this had it been a normal hyperbola but we know it's not normal, it's being rotated. So we have to take that into account. Now, if it were a normal hyperbola, you'd have a conjugate and a transverse axis. And those can be found by locating your a squared and your b squared numbers. So our a squared number will be four, and our b squared number will be four as well. Taking the square root of each, we'll end up with a is equal to plus minus 2, and b is equal to plus minus 2. a represents the transverse vertices, and remember the transverse axis is the one that connects the two vertices. So we'll have a vertex here, and one here. Remember, this is if it were a normal hyperbola. And the conjugate vertices will be at 2 and 2, over here and here. So our hyperbola should have looked like this, but it's being rotated, so we have to take that into account. Now let me go ahead and draw a box around these points. 
And we can find the asymptotes by using this formula, b over a, which is 1. Our asymptotes would be y is equal to plus minus 1x. And you can easily graph that by connecting a line from this corner to this corner and extending it. Since this is being rotated 45 degrees, and given that this line is at 45 degrees already, because y is equal to plus minus x always gives you a 45 degree angle line, our new curves should be on this line two units away. And of course, using trigonometric ratios, you can be more analytical by finding the exact x and y coordinates of the new rotated vertex. Or, since this is just a sketch, we'll place our new curve, and I'll erase what is in red currently, directly on this black line, equal distant from here to here. And given that even our asymptotes would be shifted 45 degrees, this line technically would be along the x-axis, and this line would be pushed this way along the y-axis, and so our hyperbola would never cross the x and y axis. So we'd have something that looks like this. And there you have it. That is how to rotate and graph an equation using the rotation of axes formula.